David De Gea is one of the most overrated goalkeepers in the world, and fans often forget how bad he actually is. From making world-class saves to committing howlers and rookie mistakes, the 6'4 De Gea has shown the footballing world that talent alone isn't enough. An eventful career so far with remarkable highs, rock-bottom lows, and lots of drama. Let's examine the Manchester United goalkeeper's performance between the sticks. Having set the standard so high at the start of his career, the Spaniards' form and quality have been questioned repeatedly. But just how bad have things gotten for the goalkeeper in a rapidly deteriorating team and in a club with failed transfers, projects, and objectives? There's only one way to find out. Wait a minute. Did David De Gea actually say that he's sick of winning Manchester United's Player of the Year award every time? So much for a bad player. Back in the 2010-11 season, Season. De Gea was one of the hottest players in Europe. Manchester United had pursued the then 20-year-old as a replacement for their retiring goalkeeper Edwin van de Sar. By the end of the season, it was confirmed that a British record fee for a goalkeeper of about £18.9 million was paid for him. Following a difficult first season at Man United, De Gea quickly established himself as one of the top goalkeepers in Europe. During the 2012-13 season, he won the Premier League with United, making 28 appearances and keeping 11 clean sheets. As a result, he was voted into the PFA Premier League Team of the Year. Over the next three seasons, De Gea would win three consecutive Manchester United's Player of the Year awards and Premier League Save of the Season on two occasions. By April 2018, he had been selected as the only United player in the PFA Team of the Year for the fifth time. His 2017-18 performance was one of the best seasons for a Premier League goalkeeper, with 18 clean sheets from 37 appearances, which earned him his first Premier League Golden Glove and a second-place finish for the club. Things would, however, however goes south from here. De Gea's career nosedived after a remarkable individual season with United. One could argue that he had been Man United's best player since Sir Alex Ferguson left the club with strong performances under Moyes, Van Gaal, and Mourinho. But the 2018 World Cup match against Portugal appeared to be the start of a remarkable decline for the Spaniard. In a game that ended 3-3, he let a Cristiano Ronaldo shot spill through his hands to put Portugal 2-1 up. Although Spain eventually progressed to the round of 16, they lost to Russia on penalties with De Gea making only one save throughout the tournament. De Gea would end the next season with only 10 clean sheets in all appearances throughout the season. Despite signing a new four-year contract at the start of the 2019 season, the goalkeeper had another error-prone season with mistakes against Barcelona, Watford, and Everton. He was also directly responsible for one of the goals scored against United in their 3-1 defeat to Chelsea in the FA Cup semis. At the international level, De Gea lost his starting place to Uni Simon following unsteady performances for the national team prior to the Euro 2020, and it is highly unlikely that the Spaniard will make it to the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. So just how bad is David De Gea really? A look at the various aspects of his game helps one to understand the player situation. De Gea is known to have one of the toughest mentalities for any player. Despite facing a barrage of criticisms over the years, he he has put in strong shot-stopping performances, while often taking the responsibility for the not-so-strong performances. He continues to be a leader in the dressing room with a professional attitude on and off the pitch. According to Squawka, De Gea has made almost a dozen errors, leading to an opposition goal since the 2017. The 2018-19 season saw him concede a ridiculously high 54 goals in 38 league matches. He was directly responsible for four of those goals. Although Although the Spaniard attempted to stitch his leaking pockets the following season, he still conceded 36 goals in 38 matches, with three of those goals again being direct mistakes on his part. Last season, he saved just above 60% of shots on his goal in the Premier League. Although he finally saved a league penalty for the first time since October 2014 after conceding each of the previous 21 penalties, his stats and shootouts reveal his weakness in that area. Poor performances in the 
Champions League with Neymar finding the net from a tight angle and his hesitation while turning his head away from the ball which led to Justin Clouford's goal in Leipzig in what was a group decider didn't help his goalkeeping slump last season. The Spaniard has begun the current season with two blunders already. He was culpable in United's 4-0 humiliation against Brentford. He let a tame long-range effort from Josh De Silva beat him and sneak into the bottom right corner before getting punished for a needless pass to Christian Eriksen who was under pressure. De Gea's ability to adapt to new manager Ten Hag's style of play has also been questioned. Aside from his mistake, his poor passing might be another problem for his team. Despite being both footed, he is not known for distributing the ball with his feet, and this could be a problem under the new Dutch coach. Just like City, Liverpool, and other top clubs in Europe, Ten Hag would be needing an extra body to outnumber the opposition during possession and spread passes from the back. After the match against Brentford, De Gea admitted to the media that such individual mistakes are unacceptable. So while his mentality may be quite exceptional, his recent performances have not backed it up. Fans have speculated that shaky confidence, a failed move to Real Madrid back in 2015, which he might not have gotten over, poor decision making, being overplayed, complacency, a shambolic defense, media scrutiny, and contract talks may all have contributed to his dip in form. But where does his style of play come in in all of these? De Gea has now kept over 200 clean sheets for club and country over the course of his career, many of which have been made through athletic saves and quick reflexes with his feet. His elegant and unorthodox goalkeeping style continues to earn him credits every now and then. Although he was diagnosed with farsightedness back in 2012, he has claimed that the condition does not affect his performance. De Gea has never been able to impose himself as a strong, commanding presence in the box, often hesitating to claim crosses and mistiming some of them. On top of this, Ten Hag wants his goalkeeper to play the ball with his feet, which is a weak part of De Gea's game. Time seems to be ticking for him now. The saying goes that a goalie is only as good as his defense. Manchester United has found itself in trouble having hit all-time lows in many aspects of the club's business. The club has struggled with transfers, leadership, results, silverware, and motivation from players. De Gea is an out-of-form goalkeeper with no proper defensive support to spare his blushes or attacking strength to overturn even the smallest mistakes he makes. In reality, he faces more shots than he should. Being a club that is going Going through a difficult spell with rival goalkeepers Allison and Ederson making the headlines for Liverpool and Man City respectively only means that fans and social media would get critical of any poor results. Meanwhile, in Europe, Terbo Courtois, Ter Stegen, and many others have enjoyed prolific individual seasons in recent times, and the comparisons always find a way to surface. With just a year left on his contract plus the option of another season, the goalkeeper has said that he is open to staying at United until the end of his career. However, many United fans might want him gone as soon as possible as part of a major overhaul in the club, with many feeling that United are better off without him. Fans have now run out of patience, and it looks like he might not be the first choice for Man United for long. At 31, David De Gea has single-handedly won his team points and saved his team Yet, he has committed a number of high-profile errors in the last couple of seasons, which suggests that he might be battling multiple issues. Although he remains one of the most decisive goalkeepers in the world on his best day, recent performances show that the Spaniard has hit new lows. How bad do you think De Gea is? Comment below! In the meantime, be sure to check out Soccer Central for more amazing soccer videos.